no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Okay guys, we're back in the kitchen now and we've got all our ingredients from La Pointe and the vegetable store across the street to make this amazing chicken burger. Now, there's so many different ways you can make a chicken burger. The traditional way is to use minced chicken. But if you don't have minced chicken or you do not like the minced chicken version, you can always use a thinly sliced chicken breast or chicken thigh on a grill till it's really tender and like take a bite into that and you can imagine how amazing that would taste. Obviously, you do not want huge chunks of this, so you, you definitely want it to either be really cooked down or chopped into smaller pieces. But I'm gonna teach you the traditional style of chicken burgers, which is gonna incorporate some chicken patties, some breadcrumbs, some eggs to hold it up, but I'm also gonna bring some life to it with some green, yellow, and red peppers. Those peppers just bring life to everything that I make. You know, not everything, but most things that I make. So once the patties are pretty much done, I'm going to layer them with rockets. I love, I love, love, love the taste of rockets. And I'm gonna combo this up with our traditional lettuce, some, some tomatoes, some onion rings, which I'm gonna dip fry alongside a few other cool stuff. All right, this is Dishing Out, I'm Chef Aras, and it's chicken burger time. All right, so I'm gonna be using Irish potatoes, but remember that you can use sweet potatoes. If you're using sweet potatoes, the baking time is going to be a lot less. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt and black pepper on this. And just, just toss this through. All right, now we're gonna set our oven, 200 degrees. Okay, so now we're gonna get started with our burger patties. Chicken, all right. Now here I have to about, two, about a kilo of chicken. I only need about half of this because I'm only cooking for two people. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is my mince and then I'm gonna grab my vegetables. All right, so I've got myself some peppers, green, red, yellow peppers, some spring onions, some parsley and some olives. So yellow peppers, I only need about a quarter of this. Again, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, over the set, let's put our, our potatoes in there. Put on the pan. Okay, you can hear it sizzling away already. And that's it. And then pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes and we'll check it and see how it's doing. In here we have our chicken, we have our peppers, we have our onions, but there's one last thing I need to put in, olives. This is really gonna add some nice depth to the flavor. So I'm gonna put in half a kilo olives in there, egg. One egg is just about enough. I might not even use all of the one egg. Over to seasoning my mince. Now I'm gonna start off with salt. You're looking at about half a teaspoon of salt, some garlic pepper, some bouillon cubes, all-purpose seasoning, ground ginger, some red peppers, some oregano, some white pepper, and just a little bit of black pepper. Now, all I want to do now is fold this in. Before I do that, breadcrumbs. So all we're going to do now is chop just a little bit of that parsley that we brought out earlier on. And last, atarodo. But here I'm going to take the, set, the, the seeds out. And then again with your hands, just mix it in. 
All right, so now it's time to take our potatoes out the oven. Okie dokes, that's that. Warming drawer. All right, so it's time to build this patty. So I'm gonna use a mold because it helps me get perfect shapes for my patties. And you just wanna put that in there and press this down. That should release. So that this doesn't continue to stick, I'm gonna grab some olive oil and to rub around the tin and so that it releases the meat. All right, so I have six patties here. If my patty wasn't nice and firm, I would put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes just to get them firm. But now I'm going to go over and grill them. So now all I want to do is start prepping all the rest of the vegetables and cheese that I'm going to use to build the rest of my burger. Le bread. And I'm using a wheat bread. A few slices of onions, a few slices of tomatoes. I like to use cherry tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna saute my onions really quickly. I'm gonna grab a small bowl and start making my sauce. I'm making a blue cheese sauce. And just mix this all through, make sure you mash up that blue cheese and just season this with some salt and black pepper. Check on our chicken, see how it's firing. Now I'm on low heat, medium heat, I beg your pardon. Okay, our oil is hot and I'm just gonna put in the onions. then the tomatoes. And this will be the time to put our bread on the grill. This is done, so we're gonna switch this off. Bring this over here. And now, finally, time to plate. Okay. The burger breads. The spread goes on first. You wanna go side to side. Next, I'm going to use some of my baby spinach. And then next, you want to grab the patties, which are fully cooked now. Okay, one down. The other down. Okay. And now, slice of cheese. I'm using Emmental cheese. You can use cheddar or mozzarella if you want. Cheddar is the preferred one most times, but I like Emmental. So, slice of cheese there. All right. Now, some of my tomatoes and onions, which have been sauteed. Finally, some lettuce, just at the top. And time for the fun part, time to eat. Mm. This burger is, you need to try this at home. The chicken is nice and lean, the, the, the bread is delicious. The mix of herbs and spices and the sauce, the blue cheese sauce, just, you need to try this at home. This is Sister Now, I'm Chef Aros, see you next time. Hi, I'm Onos, and if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.